If you're looking for a fun way to spend money, try Google Ads. The AdWords platform will love to spend your money. And if you don't pay attention and follow these steps, you're only going to waste money and you're not gonna get the results that you want. Welcome to Casey's SEO. And today I'm gonna to go over a couple tips that will help you save money when you first start your campaign. First off, Google Ads can be very confusing and I have a feeling they set this up this way on purpose. So the one thing that Google Ads loves to do is spend your money. And if you don't unclick certain boxes and set up a campaign a certain way, then you will most likely just waste your money and have a very bad experience. It seems like you can spend thousands of hours learning how to create your ads and to target an audience just for Google to come in and change the layout and remove all these features overnight. But I do have some good news is you can create a smart ad which will display your ads everywhere you don't want them. So all jokes aside, Google Ads is a great platform to waste your money. And if you have created ads, you know what I'm talking about. As I just mentioned, you will most likely waste a lot of money while running Google Ads unless you know what you're doing going into creating your ad. Now, if you're not careful, and I mean careful, you could almost blow your whole budget once your ad gets approved. I highly recommend you do all your research before you start running that ad. Find out what type of ad you want to run, what your keywords will be, and where your target audience is. And always remember to look at each checkbox when creating your ads because sometimes you may uncheck a box and that check mark automatically reappears. So you need to make sure that box is unchecked before you hit save. Now it's very easy to target the wrong markets. After you create an ad, Google will let you choose which location to display your ads, but you have to set this up. Now you can also change the days you want to run the ads and what time you want those ads to show. Now here is a quick tip. This has happened to me before. So once you set a location, sometimes and somehow that location may change even if you didn't change it. So one day you may be running your ads in Houston, Texas, and the next day that ad may be running in Montana. I don't know how this happens, but it could happen. So always pay attention to the settings in Google Ads. Now, if you're already using Google Ads and seeing great results, that is really good because you can get great results while using Google Ads, but you just have to go through the process and set the ads up correctly and use some trial and error to see what works best for your ad and your business. If you find that your ads aren't working very well and you have a good landing page and everything is up to par, then you might want to hire a professional and then they can teach you how to run your Google ads account. They can set up ads for you and then you can get the most bang for your buck. Now I know I may have been a little harsh on the Google ads platform in the beginning, but you can drive some great traffic and get great sales on your site by using Google ads for anybody that has ran Google ads and has wasted lots of money. If you want to share any of those stories, leave them in the comments box. And that is it for today's video. If you guys have any other questions, let me know and hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated with more SEO tips.